Greetings. Thanks for tuning in again to this week's video blog from the Chamber of Commerce. I don't know about you, but October seemed like it has been one of the longest months of the year. I know we were certainly busy and I'm sure that was true for all of you as well. I want to thank those of you who joined us for the State of the City presentation last week. We appreciate our partnership with the City Council and administration and we were honored to host uh, City Mayor Alice Patino and City Manager Jason Stilwell as they provided a look back at the last year and a look ahead at what's to come in 2021. As you probably know by now, the city is well underway with their comprehensive general plan update. This process ultimately will help us as a community set a vision and the policies that will guide our growth and development over the next 20 plus years. It's critical that the business community is engaged and provides input into this process, and the Chamber is actively working to help make sure you have that opportunity. Your next chance to do that will be a public workshop hosted by the City on November 11th. A flyer with the details of how to be uh, involved in that is included in this week's eBlast. Make sure to attend and share your ideas about how we keep Santa Maria, the premier community on the Central Coast, to live work and do business. As we embark in the holiday season, we know that traditions and celebrations are gonna happen a little differently this year. The good news is if you're staying local this year or hosting small family groups, there are a lot of options right here in our own backyard to keep you busy and entertained. I thought it might be interesting to focus part of our message today on that topic. To help me do that, let me introduce our visitor bureau director, Jennifer Harrison. Hi there, my name is Jennifer Harrison. I am the Director of the Tourism Program at the Santa Maria Chamber. Thank you for taking the time to follow along on our blog series. There is no doubt that the travel and tourism industry has been one of the hardest hit industries since the pandemic began. So as we enter the holiday season, I wanted to take a moment to share ways in which you can support your local tourism industry, either by planning a staycation or while hosting out of town family and friends. Santa Maria is truly the ideal home base to all that is the Central Coast. With 13 beach access points, 34 tasting rooms, microbreweries, restaurants, and a variety of wide open spaces to explore all within 30 miles, not to mention the affordability. Staying close to home during the holidays and taking advantage of our local assets and exploring our community as a visitor is just as fun as taking a vacation. We all know and love our famous Santa Maria style barbecue. But did you know that we also have a taco trail map so you can find the best local tacos? Of course, we have to mention our beautiful wine country. Whether you are a lover of Pinot Noir or Chardonnay, or maybe even a Syrah, you can find a safe and welcoming wine country experience just minutes from downtown. Tasting rooms are open by reservations and many have additional wine items you can purchase as gifts for the holidays. Just a short 10 minute drive from Santa Maria brings you one of the most beautiful ecosystems that exists, stretching across 22,000 acres and 18 miles of coastline lies the Guadalupe Napomo Dunes. The National Wildlife Refuge is home to hundreds of dunes, miles of beaches, some freshwater lakes, and a host of native plants and animals. The dunes ecosystem has caught the attention of many avid bird watchers. With mild year round temperatures, you can take advantage of all the outdoor space, including hiking and biking with an abundance of trails and paths open to the public. You can enjoy a variety of hiking trails at Los Flores Ranch, Orchid Hill, or along the Santa Maria Riverbed, just to name a few. Our local hotels, restaurants, wineries, and breweries have taken proactive measures to ensure that all their guests and staff remain safe and healthy. Many businesses have taken the pledge and have implemented the safety protocols to keep their patrons distanced and safe. As we all begin to plan our holiday seasons, please take a few minutes and visit santamariavalley.com for details and information on all there is to see and do in and around Santa Maria Valley, including the taco trail map. Please remember to take a few minutes prior to your adventures to confirm operating hours and safety requirements for those businesses you plan to visit. Lastly, and most importantly, be sure to travel responsibly and happy holidays. Thanks, Jen. We appreciate all the work that you and the others in our, on our tourism team do to help promote our community. And it's nice to know that uh, many of us uh, can take advantage of those same activities that people come from all around the world to take advantage of. 
If your business or organization has a special holiday season promotion or event that you would like to share, or a unique gift idea for people to consider, be sure to check out the article in this e-blast for details on how to let us know so we can help you spread the word. Finally today, this week's e-blast contains a number of other important reminders and resources that will help your business be prepared for the coming year. Make sure to take a minute and familiarize yourself with each of them. As always, it's an honor to work on behalf of our businesses, and please let us know if there's anything that the Chamber team can do to help you or your business succeed more effectively. Have a great week in business.